Hi, this is Linda, and I am the program coordinator at the Anderson County Museum. I want to tell you a little bit about our treasure, our one-room schoolhouse that we have up in our upper parking lot at the museum. This is Miss Frerson's schoolhouse, and it was um, given to us by Anderson Heritage in 2009. Little history on the schoolhouse is it originally sat on the corner of Whitner and I Streets. When the schoolhouse was at the fairgrounds on Highway 29, it was owned by Anderson Heritage. When Anderson University bought the fairgrounds in 2009, it was then donated to the Anderson County Museum. And we've got some photos showing you moving from the fairgrounds down Boulevard to the museum. Miss Frerson opened her one-room schoolhouse in the late 1800s. She taught all grades in this one room. The children walked to school and brought their lunch. There was no cafeteria. School was in the morning and then the children returned to, in the afternoon to work in the fields. Inside the schoolhouse there are large windows because there is no electricity. A potbelly stove was used for heat. It could be coal or wood. Sometimes in a one-room schoolhouse, you would see the Ten Commandments that were allowed at the time to be on the wall. The Pillage Allegiance was also on the wall for the children to say each morning. The children used McGuffey readers, chalk slates, and a blackboard was usually at the front of the room. The desks were bench-type styles, and two to three children could sit on one bench. Thank you so much for listening, and you can learn more about this exhibit and all our other exhibits on our website at andersoncountymuseum.org.